Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate the links in the Selenium. So let's begin. First, let's understand about the links and how the links work in terms of the HTML. And then we will see how we can automate the links using the Selenium. So for that, I'm using an example of google.com. And uh, this is a google.com and here, there are so many links available for example if I go to here how search works so this is a basically a link right similarly the business is a link advertisement it has some link privacy has some link now let me right click on this one let's go to the inspect here so link means that if in the HTML, if you see an attribute called href and it provides some URL here. So this is basically a link, right? So if I click on this link here, so it will open to this particular page. So link is always something which can direct you somewhere, maybe on the same page or maybe on some different pages. So that's how links work. So similarly, you can see that this Gmail is has a link here let me inspect this one and here again you see that we have this href and it has some urls right now you have a test case what is the test case let me write a test case here test case is that you need to verify you need to verify the total number of links present on the present on the web page okay and also what we will do is that we will print those urls so once you have a list of all urls you can assert that as well right so let me start with the some concept logical building of you know automation script for the links here so far what we were doing is that we were using driver dot find elements driver dot find element and we were using by id or by x or something like that right but here on the page there will be more than one link right so let me give it heading as a logic so now we have if i go back to the page here so there are so many links like this one this one this one this one there are multiple links here right so we need to identify all these links and as we discussed that href is a attribute which really helps you to find the urls right and if i go back here and let me inspect this again here and let me show you something very good or interesting here so if you see that this is a anchor tag okay if I click on or if I inspect any of the links here, they would be under this A tag, which we know as an anchor tag, right? So similarly, if I go here and inspect this one, and you can see that it contains a anchor tag as well. So this is a key and a catch here while automating the links. Now, if I go back to the notepad here, so what I can do is that we have a one way which is known as by tag name by tag name so anchor is a tag so if I use by tag name I can get all the anchor tags here whatever is under the a tag right so if there are hundreds of a tags or anchor tags you will get using by the tag name but the problem here is that as we discuss the links 
on the page are more than one right so we cannot use driver.find element so we have to use driver.find elements so in this tutorial we will also learn about how to use driver.find elements so let's go to the eclipse and start automating the links here so let me create uh, one class here here class and let me name it as automating links and let's select the main method here click on finish and let me copy some basic initial lines from here let's go here and paste this code here now as we discussed that we will be automating the links on the google page so let me copy the url from here and let's paste it here right take this one let's run this and see what happens so it should open the google.com right this is the same page which we discussed let me close this one and now what we need to do is that we need to find all the links right so this is driver dot find elements and elements is a list because it has more than one element right and I'm doing it by dot tag name so what is the tag name here tag name is simple a right so I am finding all the elements which contains this tag this is a simple logic here right and if I need to save all the links somewhere so I need to provide a list then in list what we need to do is that we need to provide web element and I need to give this as links and that's done so let me change this to web element and let me import the list from here now this particular line find all the elements containing this anchor tag okay and save it into the links and because there are more than one links that's why we are using the list here right now how i can get the total number of the anchor tags right so if i take out the count of anchor tags this means that i am counting the urls here for that i am using system dot out dot print ln and in print ln what i need to do is that links dot get and if i go here so links dot get is something which returns the specified position in the list this is not what we need we saw previously that there is a method called size and it returns the complete list here so let me save here and let me run this one and see what happens now this script should collect all the anchor tags and anchor tags means it contains the urls and once it contains all the urls it will use dot size method to count all the anchor tags or the urls and it will give us a count here so the total count here on this particular page is 19 okay now let's move a bit ahead of this one and once i have a list so i need to go one by one from the list and after going one by one i can print the urls and also i can print the text on the particular url so if i go back here and this gmail is a text here so if, you, if we go here so this is a text and this is a url right so let me go here so this can be done using the loop so i am using a for loop here for int i 
equals to 0. So we need to start from the 0 because in the list we start with the 0 indexing. So let me start from 0 here and i is less than links dot size. So basically this links dot size contains the complete size which is 90. In short I am saying here is that i is less than 90 and if this is true then we need to increment this one that's it now once it will do that thing now what we need to do is that let me do system dot out dot print ln and in print ln now we can print because we are traversing one by one so we can print both the urls and the text on that one so for that if i go here and say links dot get and it would be i dot get attribute now and which attribute I need here? So I need h header fair, right? So this is the attribute I need. So why I have given i here? So initially, if this condition is true, i would be zero. So whatever would be present on the zero index will go here and it will take the harif from that one. Harif means it will bring out the URL from that particular number, right? Similarly, once it will succeed it means that once this will be true it will increment into the i then i would be the one here and next time it will come here and it will provide one here and get the attribute of one which is present in the list so this is a concept of you know printing the urls here so in similar way what i'll do is that system dot out dot print ln and in print ln what I need is that links dot get i then previously what we got we got harif which is a url now what we need is that we need basically a text from it right so get i dot get text that's it so now it will print all the urls and the text on those urls so let's see uh, let me run this one and see what happens really it will first print 19 then the name of the urls and the urls as well so let me go to the eclipse here and see yes so you can see this is the name privacy terms business which we were seeing here right business privacy right these are the names here and we have also printed the urls now we have urls we have tags so now if we want to assert so you can assert just like we did using the fls or in the future, we would be using some JUnit or TestNG sessions to assert this thing. So basically, the basic idea is how we can interact or automate these links here so that we can put some assertions on that one. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.